good, good evening, evening everyone good evening good evening rahul so good evening my name is uh, dr arvind kumar and uh, today i have a pleasure to introduce all of you to dr rahul pathade uh, rahul has secured a very excellent rank in uh, uh, neat ss exam so congratulations rahul thank you sir okay uh, so tell all of us about yourself uh, where did you did your uh, under graduation and then post graduation from uh, yes sir first of all i would like to thanks the uh, dance uh, team for giving me an opportunity to share my experience with everyone uh, uh, my name is uh, dr rahul i did my mbbs from tenna medical college navi mumbai uh, i did my md in radiation oncology from uh, uh, tata memorial hospital mumbai so uh, when did you decide ki you want to go for a neat ss and that uh, to medical oncology means you were interested in uh, oncology branch or there was some incident with which you decided to go for this uh, basically branch. as i am from radiation oncology so i do have a oncology background but i was not sure about medical oncology part per se but uh, during srship i was uh, during my residency i was posted with dr sudeep gupta from uh, medical oncology department and i was uh, like uh, uh, you know impressed uh, uh, by you know his working style so that time but i was not sure after completing my srship i was doing a uh no uh, srship i did my course from uh, tata and after that six month i was working as senior resident in bbc hospital that time uh, i was uh, you know thinking that uh, i might go for medical oncology but uh, i got married in march uh, 2021 and uh, my wife is doing md pathology so both of us decided in march itself that uh, i'll go ahead with the medical oncology and i started preparing from april 2021 so how did you start preparing yourself uh, means ki you started with the dems uh, course and uh, uh, when did you start with the uh, dems neat ss course uh, sir actually uh, before starting my preparation i contacted few toppers from previous year uh, i got a information that uh, how should i go ahead and then i joined uh, dams uh, medical oncology course uh, in april uh, 2021 and uh, what i did actually i uh, had uh, there were six modules in the dams oncology uh, course so initially uh, as per every module i uh, go through systematically i had uh, gone topic wise from the module and the respected topic i studied from uh, uh, david a review uh, i saw the mcq from david a review and then uh, i uh, had gone through the david a textbook also and uh, uh, that means ki uh, from uh, april you started your full fledged uh, preparation for that neat ss and yes. tell me uh, how did you means ki uh, uh, do your preparation during this uh, time of covid it must be a challenging time to uh, be uh, um, physically mentally strong to prepare for any uh, entrance exam for such a competitive exam so yes. what was your uh, take on that Uh, actually uh, uh, when i uh, got married in the march i uh, left my job and then i shifted to manipal with my wife uh, then uh, that time my exam was tentative exam uh, month was september so there were hardly four five months so i thought ki i'll sit and study at home and then i started preparing accordingly so when i joined uh, dams in the april it gave me an it gave me an idea to draw a basic plan like uh, what are the topics i should focus on and then how should i go ahead with every topic so what i did uh, in first one and a half month i finished entire uh, david a review book i had gone uh, as per the topic which are given in david a review textbook uh, mcq book and then uh, with the uh, then i used to solve the MC, uh, first i used to see the dams videos uh suppose uh, i am going through uh, stomach cancer then i used to see the solve the same mcq from the david a review then i used to uh, go through the uh, take uh, whatever theory part which is given in david a review and then whatever uh, uh, uh the information which is not given in that re- review book then i used to follow the uh, david a textbook so after finishing one and a half month with this uh, uh, this book then i started with the uh, nccn guidelines and then i used to uh, theory uh, the uh, molecular etiopathogenesis and uh, uh, molecular part i used to 
do it from the Devita textbook. And for treatment part of uh, for the respected uh, system, I used to go through the NCCN guidelines. And uh, I used to discuss uh, this uh, topic wise, I used to discuss with one of my friend uh, and my batchmates. And uh, I used to solve the MCQs. Great. And uh, any um, uh, words that you want to say about uh, your uh, NEET SS exam, any motivational words? for your colleagues, for your uh, immediate juniors, ki, uh, how should they prepare and uh, anything else you want to share with them? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, anything, uh, any few words you want to share with your uh, uh, colleagues or juniors, any motivation words? motivation you have to sit and study i used to study almost for 10 to 12 hours daily uh, and you have to keep on revising actually what happened the uh, last year paper was uh, like uh, the there were so many questions which were factual questions this time the pattern was uh, entirely different it was a kind of aims pgi pattern so the questions were very lengthy questions so in that process uh, i was sorry Clinical scenario based questions. Yes. So, you know, uh, uh, the time management was a bit tricky uh, this time because uh, because of the time management, I was constantly under pressure that I'll run out of time. And in that process, I made few mistakes, like uh, simple questions also I was not able to answer. So I think everyone should uh, keep on practicing solving all MCQs, all kinds of MCQs. So revision is key and yes. you have to be persistent. You have to keep on revising. That's it. And uh, for uh, supportive care, you, everyone should go through Devita because uh, uh, Devita is wonderful textbook. And uh, But the problem with Devita is that initially uh, you will not get an idea of what all things you need to focus on. So DAMS helped me, uh, DAMS module helped me to, you know, focus on the selected topics like uh, suppose if I'm doing a press then DCIS, LCIS, then hormonal therapy, you know, uh, which hormonal drug I should focus and what part of uh, that drug should be emphasized on. So in that process, DAMS helped me. Yeah. So because uh, at this level of post-graduation, uh, uh, we tend to study on your own, but DAMS helped you in making that focus, uh, giving you a proper guidance. Ki these are the things that you should mainly focus to crack the NEET uh, SS exam. Yes. The only part uh, DAMS was uh, lacking behind was uh, MCQs. There were not enough MCQs. Uh, that's it. Yes, yeah. so we, we will work on that, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 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 what is your uh, uh, future plan uh, after this uh, uh, oncology, medical oncology? So what are you planning? Uh, you mean to say which institute I'm planning to join? Yeah. I and mean, after, after the oncology, okay, what will be your uh, thing? You will be working on your own or corporate or uh, hospital? Uh, as of now, I have not thought of it, but uh, definitely I will definitely try to join uh, Tata Memorial Hospital if at all I'll get it. And after that, I'll discuss with my family members and then I will decide. Yeah, and Tata Memorial is one of the best uh, hospital for uh, oncology, uh, I think, yes. in Asia. It is one of the best. And you yes. have worked with the best doctors there, best oncologists there. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that means ki India need bright doctors like you. <laughs> yeah, and we are also proud that uh, our students are uh, cracking neat SS and uh, the future, medical future is in safe hands. Yes, sir. Yeah, so uh, thank of you very much. Is, uh, of course, it is possible because of the help of a uh, team like you people. So yeah. I would like to thank you again for uh, your guidance. So uh, it was a, a great pleasure uh, talking with you and uh, hearing about your uh, ideas and how you prepare for the NEET SS. And uh, thank you once again and uh, all the best wishes and have a great career ahead. Thank you so much, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. All right.